Hello. Hey, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, man. I have a question for you, though. What's a Sertorian? I will tell you. Well, all right, then. I will leave it to you, then. Yes, we are going to, uh, for the next few weeks, we'll be covering a conflict called the Sertorian War. It's about a decade long. It is not a straight-up fight. It's going to be more of a guerrilla warfare where the last loyal Marian, Quintus Sertorius, will be uh, fighting the forces of Sulla in Hispania. So our, our main focus is Quintus Sertorius. He is a provincial noble from somewhere in Italy. I don't, I, I'm not sure quite where he's from. Sorry about that. Who had, like all Meyer nobles, had ambitions of greatness and traveled to Rome to get into politics. However, the plain-spoken Sertorius did not do very well in the political realm, with Cicero referring to him as the roughest and readiest of all the illiterate ranters he had ever heard. So, failing his career in politics, he joined the legions, just in time to join Marius's forces against the Cimbri. And he was served under a man by the name of Capio. And you might remember him from a battle we fought lo these many months ago, where Capio, who was a optimate, was paired with a popularity commander, and his jealousy was such that he committed his forces into battle with the Cimbri in a move that uh, at the time I described as Leroy Jenkins, his army. I do remember that, yes. Sertorius was a survivor of that battle, and afterwards, he became a spy and disguised himself as a Cimbri, joined their forces as they marched into Hispania. And he marched and fought alongside with them for a few years until they returned to Europe proper, where they faced the Romans. Armed with his inside information, he rejoined Marius and fought against the Cimbri and won much acclaim. He returned to Rome, but already the friction between Marius and Sulla kind of put him on the wrong side of the tracks. He was involved in the social war between Rome and its Italian allies, and in that battle he lost an eye. But again, his heroics in that battle were undermined by the fact that he was had the wrong allies. And the plain-spoken and very straightforward Sertorius didn't ingratiate himself too well with his Marian allies as well. He was often critical of them, and to the point where he was pretty much dismissed from them and traveled to Hispania, the territory he was familiar with, to set up sort of a, a satellite enclave of loyal Marians. That would work out to his favor, as he told us last week, eventually the forces of Sulla overcame Marius and pretty much wiped all those guys out. So, Hispania, uh, the Iberian Peninsula, or Spain, is a vast, mountainous, desolate territory. And there's lots and lots of various tribes there. Rome is pretty much hemmed in on the Mediterranean side of the peninsula. And when Sertorius gets there, he immediately begins a campaign of ingratiating himself with the locals. He lowers taxes. He, he becomes a hero of the common man because he himself comes from common stock. So he was very popular amongst the locals there. As the Marian forces in Rome fell, refugees started streaming into his court and telling him, what was going on. Eventually, he was sort of the last Marian holdout, and he knew that the forces of Sulla would be coming for him. So around about the, uh, the winter of 81 BC, Sulla dispatched an army by land to march into Hispania to root out Sertorius. Sertorius dispatched from forces to hold the, uh, a mountain pass in the Pyrenees, and they stymied Sulla's forces for quite some time until they were betrayed by one of their own and the forces were broken apart and then Sulla's army streamed into Hispania. Sertorius, at that point, fled 
taking about 3,000 of his troops and fleeing by sea and tried to find safe harbor in the Western Mediterranean. Eventually, he's wound up settling in Mauritania, which is basically Northwest Africa or modern-day Morocco. He established uh, territory there and again ingratiated himself with the locals, going so far as to visit their basically their tourist attraction. Basically, their claim to fame was that that they were home to the burial site of the demigod Antius, who was the son of Poseidon and Gaia. So, of course, the Taurus visited this this holy site, made all the proper obeisances and sacrifices and all that, and again, became very popular with the locals. In the meantime, Sulla had established a new governor in Hispania by the name of Fafidius. And Fafidius immediately began a campaign of oppose, oppressing the locals and invading their territories. So a group of those tribes, the Lusitanians, reached out to Sartorius and asked if he would return to Hispania to lead them against the forces of Fafidius. So Sartorius, along with his small force of Roman infantry, along with his new Moorish allies, which comprised of mostly cavalry, traveled across the Mediterranean, landing at Gibraltar, and joined up with the Lusitanian tribes who had forces on, cow- on horseback as well as infantry forces. They marched to meet Pophidius, who basically marched out his forces to try and cut him off. But given Satorius's familiarity with the territory, as well as having an army comprised of mostly locals, they were able to allure Pophidius's forces into a swampy estuary and then use the terrain to their advantage to massacre them. In the end, forces of Pophidius lost about 2,000 men, and that effectively lost them control of Hispania for a while. And that is the battle we'll be fighting tonight. It will be the first battle in the Satorian War, so we won't go any further as to what happens to Satorius, as we'll see what happens to him in later weeks. The actual site of the battle isn't really known, and there are a few details about the battle itself. Tonight's game is a bit more conjecture than anything else, and we've seen this in the past with some of these scenarios. So uh, there you go. Why don't you uh, tell us what the War Council has to say about tonight's battle? Certainly. Well, as to the conjecture part, you know, it's as simple as saying... It's near a big river. That river was probably the Beatus River or something, you know, apocryphal like that. And and lo, here we have a scenario. But our war council tonight for the Battle of Beatus River, ADBC, uh, I will be taking the Sertorian army first, and I will get five cards, and it will be moving first, whereas Peter is uh, getting the... Pernicious Lucius Fufidius, I love that name. You are taking the Romans first with four command cards, I guess, to indicate some of the ambush or the surprise by the Sertorians. Uh, we have a six-banner battle tonight, and special rules are pretty light. It is just that the Beatus River that we see here is a standard fordable river, which means units stop when they enter, and they battle into or out of with two dice, and ranged units shooting out of the river, of course, are limited to one die, and those can be altered by card play as per usual. And we have Marius Legions. I think we're going to just see that for the entirety of this whole expansion. Uh, both the gray and the red blocks are using the Marius Legions rules, which remind me uh, it, it applies to both the mediums and the heavy units. That is correct, right? Yes, it, it does apply to the heavies. Yeah. But the other thing that sticks out to my mind is we see some Roman warriors on the Fofidia side, which is interesting to see, because we don't see that very often from the Roman side of the field, uh, especially after coming out of the, the, the long campaigns against the barbarians where they had all the warriors. So, straightforward, uh, it's going to be a slugfest tonight, I think chasing the flanks, as we often do, and luckily there's not a lot of cavalry to get all those mounted charges, which we know are a common, and we'll probably we'll probably see those maybe once, but uh, there's just one light cav and one medium cav, so there's not a lot to do with the horses. I will draw up my cards first, and two, three... Alright, so let me get my... Uh... And here, 
of four cards. So, interesting little fight. Not very far apart. The uh, the Phidias' forces are a little bit further up from the side, back end of the board. So, uh, my goodness, one one good double time, and this is all over for somebody. That is true. Um, so, having two double times in my hand will make this even quicker. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> as always. And, and I know you're not joking, because you, you seem to get those double times, you know, in an order. I get them as much as you get the mounted charges. I'm just saying, there's an order to the universe yeah. here. In this, in, 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 oh, in, yeah, that's good. that is a very good point. Yes. Well, good luck to you, yeah. sir. Um, and, good luck, and I have my hand, and uh, let's see if uh, Fafidius here uh, can survive this drubbing. Right. It's about to receive. Let's, uh, how do I want to approach this? I think we might as well, since we've got the range, we activate these, uh, these two little light units here and see what we can do with them. So, uh, we'll have the light slingers throw at your light slingers. And we'll get two dice for that. And we give them a retreat. Hurrah! Uh, that's unfortunate. Right. And then the light bowman will aim at your light bow because there's balance in nature. Here we go. Two dice. And nothing for that one. Oh well. But not bad. Over to you. Battle Cat is here mm. looking on. She approves of the opening volley. Well, let's try to outflank you a little bit and see if we can't even the odds here somewhat with those units. We'll move this medium here into the river. Everybody else will stand and shoot. You know, the bowman attacking the bowman who shot at them. Yes. Driving them from the field. Slingers will let loose a hail of stone against those slingers on the uh, your leftmost flank. Ow. Bring some guys down. Jerk. Take that, Lusitanians. We're Mauritanians. Uh, what? We're Mauritanians. No, I, I, I'm presuming the the cavalry is probably the Moors, the lights are probably the Lusitanians, and obviously the heavies are the professional Roman soldiers. It's all a bunch of ships I'm to assuming. me, man. <laughs> all right. Here comes a hail of arrows. Ugh. Ah. Okay. Ow. Best you could hope for. I guess so. Well, we're gonna we're gonna keep up this enfilade here. I'm gonna do these two units. See if we can't return the favor. So these slingers against your slingers. Two dice. Oh, the slingers against my bowmen. Oh, excuse me. Yes. That, is that, right, yes. Is that your yeah, on, target? on the end. Yes. Very good. Very good. And now these guys continue to try to roll up. Two more dice. Yeah, hit. A nice little tit for tat there. I yeah, I do like the symmetry of it. All right, back to you. All right. Nope. Enough. Enough fooling around. Uh -uh. That's what I call bowling for lights, man. All right, those warriors will attack those light infantry with four dice. There you go. Oh, that is a wipeout where I come from, sir. Nicely done. Hmm. It's tempting to advance in battle, but I don't want to break up the cohesion here, so I think I'm just going to uh, 
stand. Hmm. Well, indeed. All right. Let's do four in the center then. Hmm. So. It's, uh, it's interesting. You've got a, a thin candy shell, but you've got a very hard nut there in the center. I do. Okay. All right. Let us we'll go with Sertorius first against the Warriors. They, they actually have something they can do. They can throw their pullums. Oh, that is true. Well, let's let's see what happens here first with this. So, uh, holding for a first strike card. Okay. Uh, you're all good. Okay. So here is five dice Not yet. plus leader bonus. And we get two hits. I'll take it. Come back at you with four. Flick two hits as well. All right. But let's see if uh, the rough and ready Satorius survived the encounter. Close. Mm. Very close. Almost lost that other eye. <laughs> All right. The heavies then will throw their pillum. Pillum. At the mediums there with one die. Getting nothing. We should attempt at least to whittle these guys down. So two dice from the lights with leader, mm. with leader bonus. Ooh, look at them. Mm. And they will advance into that space. And then these lights here, they moved. So they'll just throw one spear at Light Slingers, causing them to flee. Oh. Yes. That was uh, surprisingly effective. So. All coming apart. Back to you. Ah, see? <laughs> I knew the minute you said, oh, I'm waiting for you to play your first strike. Ah, I don't know what yeah, you mean. You're not fooling uh, me, buddy. Yeah. Not fooling me. There's five dice plus leader bonus. Uh, it's and a retreat. <sighs> Away with you. So, I guess I don't get a chance to throw anymore. No. Yeah. No. Um, no, wait. Yeah, uh, that's that's true. Yeah, because they were forced to retreat, so that and they were making a melee attack and, were, and had to retreat. That's correct. So. Yeah. <sighs> but you still have the other. And we will. Uh, Four dice on those lights. We'll what would they like to we'll do? We'll evade that. Yeah. Get out of town. It's rough. Yeah, I was really hoping to, to to break you up there, but well timed. Okay, we'll do two in the center. There we go. So there is a bit of a recklessness knowing that you have the first strike card. It is, yeah, without a doubt. And you drew your other card, I did. right? I did. Okay. All right, so we'll do this one first. Uh, we'll get five dice plus leader bonus. Uh, just barely. All you need, though. Yeah. Uh, and they will advance. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they'll advance. And then. These guys will make a shot at yours. So five dice plus leader on that one. And get two. Here's a leader check. He's okay. All right. Get back with four. There you go. Wow. Let's see. Satorius. He lives. Okay. And 
that is all. Four dice against those heavies. Wow. Unbelievable. Good job. Ah, well, lucky roll. The power of leadership. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. All right, so the most potent forces are now removed. You're getting some good cards here, Patrick. I can't, can't, uh, can't deny it. Do a coordinated attack. Those three. Seek the protection of the river for that. Uh, all right. So the only guy that can do anything are these lights, and they'll just throw at your medium there. One die. Getting nothing. Back to you. Take to the trees. All right. Medium Lorax, apparently. All right. We'll go off of those lights first. Okay. Well, that seems like an appropriate evade. Good evade. There's a couple block. Right, and the warriors. Four dice. Getting two. Notorious. Mm. He's fine. Three back. Just one. Takes me down to three dice. Okay, do three on the left. Firing here. One die at the warrior. Nothing. Another die at the warrior. Nothing. All right. All right. Well, you weren't kidding. Yeah. It was four. Medium's going after the auxilia. Nothing. Four dice. Nothing they can do. Hmm. A hit. And a leader check. Let's see about Tutorius again. And he's still fine. Okay. Three back with leader. Uh, one hit. And warriors on the same unit. Three dice this time? Yeah. Almost made it. Oh, oh, yeah, I need the green. Okay. That's right. Now, Satorius. 
who lives to fight another day. He's got two more scenarios to live. <laughs> um, I'll throw a spear at those dudes. I'm packing. Spirit, those guys. And they're fine. Okay. Hmm. To our light troops. That's a good card for your side. Mm -hmm. That's bold. And spicy. Okay. Well, got to make up some ground here, so... Start with this one. Two dice plus leader bonus. Nothing. Four dice coming back with leader bonus. Three hits. Okay. Um, come over to this side. Two dice plus leader bonus. Nothing. Three dice. Three dice Try swap roll. Three dice plus leader bonus here. Just one. Ooh. So a hit. One leader hit. And I can ignore Let's both. See flags, what the result of that is. Potentially. Yeah. Nice time. Okay. And two dice plus leader bonus here. can take the retreat if you want. I'll stand. Okay. And I'll fight back with three. Two. And finally, Sertorius versus the mediums. Two dice plus leader bonus. And we get one mm -hmm. retreat they must take. And we will advance. Go after these warriors here. So two dice plus leader. Nothing. All right. Whew. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Back to you. Wow. 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 Let's pr proceed with the evasion. I got one. Same there. Actually, you're great to let let's go with this here. These guys. Okay. Either way, yeah, they're gonna evade. Four dice there. Ooh. Got one. Satorius again. Oh. oh. What an end to that battle. Sertorius falls. Boo. <laughs> Ignominious defeat. Ah, that's hard for the Sertorians, man. Once I lost those two heavies, yeah, uh, you know. Hard to hard to commit those and then lose them so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, my my cards had just run dry, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was considering bringing them out and just chasing down the light bow, but you know that's always a losing proposition because three on an evading unit is eh, you might get it, but yeah, you know, it's I need I need the retreats is really what I need. Um, 
but I have two line commands, a double time, and a counterattack. So a lot, a lot of good potential, but uh, it really did turn as soon as I lost. You, you got those heavies wiped out so quick. I guess that was my fault. I I committed them a little early, but I thought because you punched in so quickly that that was really the only recourse I had because I had a, a bunch of center cards there and I needed to start using them for that. So, well, good on you. We'll take our five-minute break and we'll be back for the second half. Refresh my memory. You did say that the Sertorians historically won this battle. That's right? Oh, yeah. Interesting. With all of those lights, that is... Tricky, 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 tricky. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing if you have better luck with them than I did. But uh, it just seems like a real uphill battle. But for a master tactician such as yourself, I'm sure oh, it will please. be. I'm sure it will be easy. And I don't. I don't read ahead. <laughs> all right, go ahead and draw your cards. Get all your okay. Your good first strike cards and things. All that horn of plenty that is your hand. Oh, I've wasted my life. Okay. One die. What is it that Grand Moff Tarkin says? Evacuate no. in a moment of triumph? No, you're. Uh, you really have, you have chosen our thousands. target for us, yes. Alright. So we're going to do that. And these units will move there. And these on the end will fling and sling. So you will throw two dice. Nothing. Got to do better than that. Two dice. A hit. Warriors against those lights there with four dice. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, four dice. Yeah! Well, we can ignore that. Give them what four lads. All right. Now, these guys against those lights with four dice plus leader bonus. Ooh. All right, and then pill them from here. One die. Nothing. Um, pill them from there. Nothing. And there. Nothing. And this one on the end, one die. Hey, here we go, retreat. You use the dice roller against me. <laughs> all right, that is uh, that is all. Hmm. Okay. Three dice on those warriors. One. Okay. There is three dice with leader bonus. One. Three 
three dice on those warriors. One. It's hmm. getting interesting here. Cuts by a thousand cuts. There's three dice back with leader bonus. Two hits. Leader check, yes, thank you. He's okay. And two dice on those warriors. Oh no. Three dice back with leader bonus. Wipe out. Sad. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for them. <laughs> All right. Well, this seems like a decent time to do a rally. We'll do a rally check. Mm. All right, so we're going to get four dice. There's only one thing you want to roll. That's right. Triangles and leader helmets, please. And leader helmets will do it. Hit, hit. I mean, oops. Rally, rally, rally. It's up to three. Okay. So the target then is... In a way, you've selected the target. Uh, we'll do... Three dice there, leader bonus. And get him. Elstrock. Thank you. Just needed a rally. Here's a one die check. He's okay. Back of the line with ya. Uh, they will advance. And battle again. Yeah, and you've lost the, the influence of your leader. I have. It's three dice only on on those lights of two, so I think I'm gonna try anyway. So three dice. Get one hit. However, the leader says you should have waited for me. Here's the leader check. He's fine. And ah. Give one back. All right. That is all. Those four. Fly at those bowmen. Nothing. Again, arrows loose. Ah, boo. Three dice will be your support against those warriors. There you go. We'll strike fast, strike hard. No mercy. Three dice. Lord. One hit. Ah, there you go. I got My brave warriors. <sighs> I'll advance. Allowing these lights here. Throw a pull them at those mediums. Ah. They fall harmlessly in the dirt. That would have been glorious. That would have been glorious. Okay. Do those two. Four dice plus leader bonus with a web out. Advance and go after your Herenius. What would he like to do? He made away. Okay, four dice, green circles only. Come on, give me one. There's one. Oops. Wrong one. <laughs> Are we looking to the future? Are you prescient? Are you an oracle? Have you studied the auguries? One die for that leader. Oh, no. Uh, he's got to go to the line. 
going to go straight back to. But you can take him off the map if you want. Nah. Okay. Uh, and then... Actually, you can't advance again, so I'm just going to go there. Okay. Kingdom for a double time. Did you want to throw some pilum? The heavies can throw. Um... Hey! Woo. All right. Woo! They can ignore oh, that. Oh, here for? They shall. Ooh! All right. Now I'm done. Okay. As if to mock me. <laughs> How do you think I felt? <laughs> Alright. I will order one unit of my choice. And it will be... Oops. That unit there. And he will go... There. You're not going after Highness, are you? Yes. Oh. So we will attack. Run away. Let's see if we can't score an easy banner with four dice looking for one leader symbol. I get him. That was foolish. And then we will advance. Attack this unit. What would they like to do? Ooh, okay. Four dice coming at you. Come on, give me some flags. Uh, I'll take two and, and a retreat. Okay, and we will do a second advance, but no more battle. Okay. Five dice on those mediums. Mm. Get two hits. Come back with four dice. And possible leader kill. That would be uh, coincidental. Uh, that's game, What's that? That would be some nice symmetry. That would be very nice. Here we go. Oh, so close. Five dice from those heavies. Nicely done. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I should have done that in reverse. That's going to cost me. And because the fates are not unkind, but they like mockery... There's another mounted charge. All right, and I'm gonna activate that unit again. Let's see if we can't go bowling for lights here again with four dice. Not nowhere to evade. That's right, four dice. Looking for a couple green circles or a flag or something, and we get a flag. Again, I do not know how the Sertorians can pull this out. I mean, the Roman might is just so potent. And uh, I believe we we have a tie. I think it was 6-2, 6-2. With, uh, with the Romans taking it 12-4 uh, to four on this one. So, Romans plus 8? Good gosh! That is... Uh, that's pretty significant. That's That's more than an anomaly or an outlier, if you will, I think. So what say ye? Yeah, 
Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, first strike. That just killed any momentum I had. Mm. And the fact that they held yeah. on to to still rally, uh, that was... Yeah, that first strike and a rally, you know, that, that just kind of gave you that toehold to keep keep going there on, on that on your right flank in retrospect, not that it would have changed anything, but if I had attacked with this unit first and, you know, just done the one damage, if this unit then wiped it out, they could have advanced and attacked again, you know, and two hits and a retreat wouldn't have made much difference at that point. That's right. That would have been the smarter play. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's so, too, uh, too often it, that happens, so, right? So, so, you know, obviously you'll watch it and you'll point it out in the comments. But <laughs> but I thought about it as soon as I did it, so I'm learning. Yeah, uh, that is. That, I mean, that's always the challenge of it is the order of operations, especially when you're doing a surround. And you can see how I agonize. I've got in the first game, I had those four or five units all surrounding, and I was like, well, they're all they're all ants at the picnic. What do you do? How do you how do you whittle it away to make it possible for that leader to do a final attack? So I, I, I certainly understand that. But yeah, I just wow. I do not I don't see it for the Sertorians on this one. And it could just be the way we play. I I don't know. I'm not sure. So this, again, is for you you spectators out there, those of you who are familiar with this particular scenario. Go ahead and comment and see if you've got a plan of battle for the Sertorians that will at least keep it closer for them, because as we've seen, uh, losing by four each time is pretty significant. And I just think with a, with a, line, a front line of light units, that is just a recipe for disaster. I... Smarter players than I have probably figured this out. They've cracked it. But I want to hear what you you all out there have to say. I love when we tie, because then it's like, well, I mean, I don't know if that speaks better to the fact that we have each figured out that side, or it's just there's some imbalance that allows for both players to, to keep it even. But that being said... I'm not sure what the... Had I the cards, I certainly would have worked your left flank, you know, with those two cavalry units and, and tried to work those two lights down there. I mean, obviously they could, they could just fall back uh, at that point, you know, I might get those horses across the river and in, in the back of your lines, but yeah. 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 So there we go. Chapter one of the Satorian wars in the book. What was intriguing about my particular issue was after I played that line command, when you came forward and I and I said, okay, I'll play the line command and then I'll I'll work on those two light units. My cards absolutely went completely dry. And at that point I, I had to just wait and hope that you would attack me and that I could do damage exactly as it occurred. You you made three attacks on the on the warriors and they lasted and they got to throw nine dice, which yeah, that's, was amazing. That's that's just rude. <laughs> How rude! How rude! Well, they should have known. They should have just. They should have just died. They should have bowed before Herennius. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this as always, and thank you for everybody who's sticking with us all these many, many scenarios. We're well over sixty now. We value your viewership and your comments, of course, and sticking with us all the time through good scenarios and. Not so great scenarios, but so far they've all been fun. They're just, there's some head scratchers. In them. With that being said, sir, I will leave it to, for next week, and I will be doing the research for part two of the Sertorian conflicts here. That's all right. And so, uh, uh, after all of this, a bit of a mess, you know, Rome's got his heart's taking old Quintus Sertorius a little bit more seriously. Well, I'll send the big guns out for him. As, as well as they should. No one likes to make fools of the Romans. Well, I guess we will see you here next week, and thank you again for everybody watching, and have a great one. Good night. Good night.